unboxing. This is two plants um, from Green Thumbs. Ooh, I have it on here. I can even look, right? Green Thumbs Garden. Um, they're based out of Tennessee, USA, and I ordered two trees from them on Etsy. Um, it arrived very quickly after being shipped. It was shipped on the third. Today's the fifth, so it came in two days. Um, as promised, they said they'd ship it out in three or five business days. I think they shipped it out in five business days, so that falls within. I also ordered two plants, and I'm sure that this is a time of year where they're very busy, so very impressive to hit those numbers. Um, as you can imagine, you know, if they hadn't, like if they shipped it out in seven days, I'd be like, whatever, I get it. Like it's that time of year. It's like shipping out beers on Cinco de Mayo. It's almost impossible. Americans love beer on Cinco de Mayo. So I am just using my little, you know, fingernail pick to cut all of the tape off. Um, these boxes are so funny. I think this is like the normal shape of these boxes. I just think they're so interesting that they're triangular like this. Um, oh, miss that piece. Ooh. So what's this one done? It's not. Oh, it is. Okay. This one out. It's very, like, it's very long, but it's also like a triangle. And I'm almost 100% sure that's how it is. Okay. And I get the sides here. I mean, like, it's good that it's packed up so well, but man, it is a puzzle to get open. Um, for those of you who are in America, happy Cinco de Mayo. For everyone else in the world, I don't think you celebrate this holiday at all. You may. I know in Mexico it's not really celebrated unless it's by American tourists because it isn't a significant holiday in Mexican culture. Um, maybe today it's different, but uh, Cinco de Mayo one single victory in one single, I think it was a, like not even a consequential war when it comes to America, but they chose that day and that's, you know, the day that they celebrate. So some good sign. I've already got, so they shipped it one pack, which is good. Ooh, got a little pamphlet with it, with a great seal of the state of Tennessee. And other things there, uh, let's see. Looks like it's a little note. I'll, I'll open it. Um, the plants look pretty good. There's green on them. It's a good thing I got them when I did. So they are starting to wilt, but they're not looking unhealthy in any way. They're just looking like they've been in the mail. All right. So there's a pamphlet showing them, showing, it looks like this is either their county or just their farms. And it looks beautiful. That's backwards. Um, this is just a, Shipping manifest and it looks like shipping information on the back, so that's fine too. Didn't know what it was, so I checked it. All right, so I ordered Bear Root. They have, um, I think it's called GT, which is probably green thumb, but I didn't read it, um, which is like a special treatment they do to the roots. But I didn't think I needed that for these particular trees, so this is uh, right here. I think the these leaves, so this is a silver maple. One next to it, so the silver maple is the big one, and it's twin trunk. So this little one here with a teeny tiny bit of green on it, it's a ginkgo. So I didn't have any ginkgos. Um, I don't remember if I ordered a particular variety of ginkgo, or if I was just like, ooh, ginkgo, good price, let's get it, because ginkgos are incredibly expensive around me. Um, I didn't want to be shopping for $200 ginkgo whips. I want to be shopping for, you know, a fair price for them. Uh, they are at virtually every nursery I go to, so didn't expect them to be as expensive as they are. It's kind of like they have red maples they sell for $100 for a tree. I'm like, they're weeds in most people's yards. Not Japanese red maples, the, you know, domestic Acer rubrum. So I do like this, uh, Strap they use it tied the two trees to a looks like a bamboo skewer, a piece of bamboo here, just to keep them all in one piece and keep them from bending in the package. Uh, it's really nice stuff. It's got a good elasticity to it, so whatever that is, I'll have to ask you guys, you know. Um, it's nice. Yeah, I'm excited because these both look pretty healthy, and I just got more bonsai soil, so I can actually put them into bonsai soil. All right. So 
also curious about the roots. As nice as they are, the roots are very important. This package still feels um, slightly damp, so they put enough water in here and the right amount of water in here to keep it from drying out in transit. That's good. Let's see if I can cut through the tape without, probably not, somewhat. Paper, but tape. This isn't a very sharp knife, so I'm just trying to take my time with it. I don't have a whole lot of. Options. There we go. Not right through. Not right through. I clearly struggled with that. All right. Let's see what's. Ooh. So they put newspaper in here as well. This just lifts out. And some sort of gel, which I do not want all over my table. So I'll get this right back into here. Probably something to keep the roots moist during transit. Let's see, before I show you guys again, I'm going to go ahead and unwrap it the rest of the way. Okay, yeah, so there's a lot of, ooh, looks like it's got a really nice low. All right, I don't know that I ordered any special root treatment, but these look all right. So the ginkgo, not incredible, but enough roots that, from what I understand of ginkgo, it should be fine. Um, same thing with the maple, not the most incredible roots, but should be fine. So I will clean these off, pot them up, and my silver maple and my ginkgo, yeah, they were both bare root, um, will be going into pots. Thanks for joining me.